Hi everyone, I'm here today to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on a basic applique. Today I have chosen a design by Juju. It's called the Wanda Alphabet applique and I have chosen the letter T and we're going to do a nice little fun applique with a nice fun fabric. This is only a one fabric applique to make it nice and simple for beginners. Um, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing your machine is going to do when it comes to an applique is put down a placement stitch. And a placement stitch is the outline of the object that's going to be, that's going, the fabric's going to be placed on top. So basically, so you can know where the fabric is going to lay. As you can see, the machine stopped because it did the placement stitch, and you can see the outline. I did it normally. I would do, especially if I have a light background, I would do my placement stitch in a lighter color. Um, I mainly choose white, but today to show you um, the outline, I used the black color so you can see where the fabric would lie. And I'm choosing a nice, pretty fabric. And what you would do is you would lay it right on top. Depending on the fabric, if it's a little uh, real slippery fabric, I would definitely use some kind of um, tack down glue, something that's not a permanent adhesive, but um, something that you can even use tape. Just make sure that the fabric does not move. So now, what the machine is going to do. The next stitch is called the tack down stitch and the tack down stitch is what holds the fabric in place. Now it's going to do the same exact outline right over the top of where it just did. Okay, and then this is where the machine stops again. And this is where you're going to cut away any of the excess fabric, basically all around. And it depends on what kind of machine you have. If you have uh, something like a 10 needle, there is a button where you can press and it comes out and you can cut away away from your machine. If you have more of a uh, sit down combo sewing com embroidery combo machine, you can take it out of the machine, take it over to a table and just carefully cut around um, the stitch and you would use a very, like this is an applique scissor. I use these because this gets you very close to the edge and you want to get as close to the edge as possible without clipping the stitch. But you want to use very sharp scissors. Okay guys, here we have it. All the fabric has been cleaned up. 
and as you can see all the way around you just that's why you want the sharp scissors so you can get as close to the edge as possible now don't panic if you accidentally clip one of these stitches it's okay try not to do it too much but you're gonna have the next stitch that's come and come around and that's gonna finish off all these edges so you have a nice clean edge so don't worry too much about it try not to do it but if it happens accidents happen just keep going don't fuss with it um, so our next stitch is going to be the finishing stitch and normally it is a satin stitch so we're gonna go ahead and finish this off so you can see what a beautiful design this is and how the possibilities are endless when it comes to fabric and thread choices. Okay, the machine is finishing up on this satin stitch and when it's done you'll be able to see how it went all the way around the outside of the, the design. Okay, so here you have it, and the satin stitch is beautiful. It actually goes all the way outside the lines, and as you can see, it tacks down very well on the edges, so you don't have to worry about any of those um, stitches that you might have pinched or snipped. It actually covers the and saturates the entire edge so that way it leaves you with a nice finished edge and then you have a beautiful design. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and got some good insight and information from it. Thank you for listening. Okay the machine is done and is finished with the last stitch which is the satin stitch the finishing stitch that goes all the way around the design as you can see it covered any of those imperfections that you may have encountered when you were clipping the fabric away maybe it frayed a little maybe you snipped a stitch or two well not to fear on good designs like the ones uh, Juju provides you can see the satin stitch is has very high density so when you when it goes around the stitch it finishes it very well and it leaves you with a beautiful design well that's it for a basic applique um, I hope you guys found this informative and more videos to come thank you